Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am gonna work on my budget by paycheck workbook and I'm gonna go over the first couple pages that are in the front. Um, I apologize, I am kinda behind on videos. There's just been a lot going on for these last couple of two weeks so I'm kinda behind on videos so I'm gonna try to get caught up so you guys might see a lot of videos um, back to back after day after day so that way I can get caught up because I don't like being behind and then that way you guys can all see everything that's going on but so the first one that I'm going to work on is this financial plan goal worksheet now okay so I am going to also do a vision board on my 2021 goals and I'm planning on doing a video on that and since I like vision boards and this this goal sheet kind of goes over within the one year, five years, and ten years. And then my vision board is going to be within that one year. What I have with basically, I'm going to just do everything personal, financial, um, just certain items. So stay tuned for that video as well. Alright, so for my visual plan goal worksheet, for my first financial goal plan, the first one that I have I'm going to do is for my long-term goals and for this goal is to pay off the house in 15 years okay and I'm also going to write estimated, so estimated, estimated purchase date is February 2021. Since I still haven't bought my house yet, um... It looks like, so the estimated purchase date they gave me is February. That's when the house is going to be done, mid-February. I don't know if it's going to be done, so that's why I wrote estimated. And that is one of my goals, is to pay off the house in 15 years. Estimated cost, I don't know yet. And target date, in 15 years, it's going to be 2036. So this is going to be one of majority of my long-term goals. Okay, the next one is, so the next couple of ones is going to be mostly for my one-year goal. The first one that I have is to, uh, what is it, pay, pay for and finish. The land, what is the landscaping? Landscaping and cash. Okay. So, yeah. So, one of them is pay for my finish, pay for and finish the landscaping in cash. So, this is going to include, when I say landscaping, it's going to be the outside of our house. So, anything from grass, sprinklers, um, we do want to add, extend, and um, extend our driveway and add kind of like an RV parking. And my husband wants to do a shop. So we are saving. That's why we're saving a lot of money is so that we can do that all for cash. So for this estimated cost, this is just for the grass and landscaping. We're going to say $10,000. My husband says that if he does the majority of it, we can do it cheap. So this is just $10,000 and this is just for the grass. But we also have... Um, like his shed that he wants to build so we'll see but this is just for the grass we're going to do um, $10,000 the finish date we're going to say at the end of summer so I'm just going to put September 2021 I'm, we're trying to do everything all within the summer so 
it's normally around October it starts getting cold it may rain slash snow so we're just gonna finish by September that's our deadline the next one that we want to do is start on the basement start on the basement and pay for everything in cash. No credit, no on credit, no nothing. Okay, um for this one, start on my, start on the basement and pay for everything cash. Um when we're building our house, we did not include the basement because they wanted to add, I don't know, it was a couple thousand dollars. It was quite a bit, which I know we can do it a lot cheaper. Um and the majority of the walls in our basement, they are um they're holding up the house. So the only thing we need to do is basically, I think, divide the room and the bathroom and just do like the dividers inside. So there's not that lot, that much of framing to do. So I think we can do it. Um, estimated cost for that. Um, let's see. Estimated cost. I don't have one yet to finish the basement. We haven't calculated how much we can finish it for. I think we'll have more of an idea once we're going to start on it. But the due date on it is December 2021. And by what I mean by start on the basement, I don't want it finished. I just want it maybe a little bit of improvement at least. Maybe the framing and sheet rock on. I mean, that's something, you know just starting it. I don't want to finish it. We're probably going to finish it maybe 2022. So we'll see. And then one of my other ones is purchase blinds slash shutters in cash. And this one we did estimate roughly, this is just an estimation of 6,800. We haven't gotten quotes on it, but we are we are gonna begin on getting quotes. And the date that I wanna have it done is by March 2021. Um, this is why we are saving a lot of money, a lot of the, our extra money that gets left over from our paychecks or from our side hustles. That's why we're saving so that we can get all these done in cash. I do wanna get shutters, but it may be too expensive, but we'll see. So this is what we do. And then the least, the last one, and this is also within this year, is buy any, any, items what was that idea oh, yeah it's buy any items that the house needs in cash so buy any items in cash and for these this is anything um like i did mention when we moved we sold our dining table our kids bedrooms not bedrooms, our kids' um, beds. They did need new mattresses. Um, they had their twin beds since they were little toddlers, so now they're teenagers, so they do need an upgraded bed. So just certain items that I did sell that I need to buy. So that is my goal is buy any items that I need for the house in cash. No, no nothing on credit, nothing. All saved for and paid for in cash. So... For this estimated cost, there is no estimated cost, so I'm just going to put an A. And for target date, there's basically no target date because this is just one of my goals, and I'm just going to put an A. Um, I will update you on this one for estimated cost. I will give you that. And as of right now, I don't have any mini term, not mini, any medium term goals. We'll just wait and see. But I will also update you on that one. 
All right. So the next page that we have here, I'm just going to zoom you guys out so you guys can see it, is main membership and subscription worksheet. I don't have any membership or subscription worksheets, so there's no need for me to fill this out. For the yearly savings and goal events, these are where our sinking funds are going to be. Um, I don't know if I like this. Well, I'll just write it down. And if anything changes within, then we'll see. Um, one of my goals is Christmas. So our Christmas. I haven't gotten out our yearly goal yet, how much we want, and then monthly amount and due dates. I haven't gotten that. I kind of do it different. I kind of like to budget with every paycheck that I do receive because when it's monthly, you're not calculating how much that you need per paycheck. So I like to do it per paycheck. The next one is back to school. And as of right now, I think those are the only ones that I do have. But I will update you guys on the new sinking funds that I am going to save for for this coming up year. So I'll just get this ready. Um, and this one belongs with that one. So I will get up to you with that on that. I'm not going to do anything with the sinking funds yet. Okay, yearly spending over overview. So I've never done one of these. So let's just see what what it says on the instructions. So yearly spending overview. So it says here, I'm just going to zoom you guys in. It says this worksheet allows you to track your spending in each of your categories across the entire year in one table. The categories are those that you determine by tracking your expenses on the monthly expense tracker worksheet and track monthly on your monthly budget category breakdown worksheets. Um, so... So for these worksheets, these amounts, expense category, these are the expenses that you track on your expense tracker. So it, they're going to be these little category, categories that you have up here. So I'm just going to go ahead and write these. These I'm going to put them just over here so I can kind of see. And I'm going to flip it so it's on one page. Um, so, like, you track your income, but you're going to put your income here each month at the top. Um, so, my first one is going to be utilities. And everybody tracks these different. So, utilities is everything besides any debt. So, it's going to be our gas bill, our, U, our city bill, our T-Mobile, our state insurance, Netflix, Hulu. I like to track those items under utilities because... You're always going to have them. You're not going to get rid of them. It's just how it works. So I like to put those under utilities. The next one is our savings. Everything that I put into savings, I like to track those. And the next one is credit card transfers. So, And I got this credit card just because they told me that my credit score need to go up so the um our loan officer told us to get a credit card and just keep a running balance so we decided to use my credit card for our gas and then we get the points and we pay it off so this is what this is for as soon as we close on our house i'm just gonna go ahead and pay off the balance because i do have the cash in there and then we'll be good so after probably march you won't see this one anymore and then the next one is any cash slash sinking funds. So cash and sinking funds, this is all the money that I take out each paycheck for my cash and sinking funds. I like to track that. Um, and then I'm going to put on budget, on budget items. And then after we do get our house, I will write down our debt which our house will be our debt. Okay. And before I started filming, 
Um, like I mentioned, I want to get rid of all my sticker books because I have a lot of sticker books. So I want to use them. I just put the 2021 up here. Okay, the next one is yearly balance overview. I don't know yet what I'm going to do here. I'm going to leave this one blank because I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. Okay, and then she has this bill tracker. And I kind of like this because I actually made one myself because I like, I'm going to, I like to track all my bills that are that are due and so I made a similar one for this but I'm happy that she decided to put one in the workbook this year so I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you guys can see okay so due date the first one is due on the 5th and this is my T-Mobile oh you know what I should have done these all in red okay well well and at T-Mobile is the due date is roughly always around not the due date the due amount is roughly around two hundred and eleven dollars with seventeen cents so I'm just gonna keep it like that and then where are my books just to be more festive or a little bit more I don't know colorful and to use it. I'm going to use these small, let's see if I can find them. Mm, there were some smaller ones. Let's see, I'm just going to use these. I'm going to use these small ones. Payment method, you're going to write your payment method, but it's automatic. So I'm just going to put a little star when it's automatic, just to make it more, I don't know. More beautiful, I guess. Okay, the next one is due on the 19th. And this is our wiggy wash. And wiggy wash, they take out $35.98. And this is also automated. Okay, the next one is due on the 20th and it's the gym membership and that one they take out $13.39 and it is also automated so I'm going to just use one of these little stars and if you guys are thinking where I got these little stars they are from the me and my big happy planner ideas booklet and this is from the planner basics and I believe this is an old one I got it a long time ago so okay the next one is Netflix and then Disney Plus I always say Disney Plus or Hulu I got the whole the two packages together and these are both due on the 28th okay Netflix is $12.99 as of right now. It might go up, so I'll just keep $12.99, and then once it goes up, then I will update this amount. And Disney Plus, I pay $13.93, and it's for Disney Plus and Hulu. And both of these are automatic, so I'm just going to grab another... Two little stars here. Okay. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to try to go in order. The next one is the 29th. Which is our storage unit. And this is going to go away once we move into our house and it's $63 that comes out and that is also automatic and I was just thinking I should have put these at the end but either way it's fine because I'm going to add on my house and my house is going to be for 15 years hopefully that's my goal okay 29th and then the next one is State Farm and State Farm is our car insurance that always comes out on the 31st And 
for State Farm. Uh, I think that might go up, so I'm just gonna leave it blank, but it also is automatic. And then once our we move into our house, I'm gonna have the house payment and then the normal utility bills, which is our gas bill and then the city bill, which contains everything else. So I'm gonna have two more for that, but as of right now, this is where this is it. I'm actually filming this January 2nd. I'm trying to film all um, the videos that I do need to be put out so that it's, I'm all caught up, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so bill checker, medical bills. She also has a medical bill. Let me zoom you guys, ah, let me zoom you guys out so you guys can see the medical bill. I don't have any medical bill, but this will be perfect for somebody who has medical bills, the amount, the balance and stuff. So I think this is good to keep track. All right. And then she has notes here. Um, I did film this one. I think this is it, guys. I don't have any much. There's not any more other stuff. So... Let me see. Yeah. But this is it for this video. And stay tuned so you guys can see my sinking funds um, video. Also, my... What is it? My vision board video where you guys can see the goals that I do have for 2021 for this year. But, but this is it for this video. If you have any questions, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow me in this journey. And I will see you next time. Bye.